I'm excited and I'm very grateful that you are part of something to talk about. I'm grateful because, you see, when I watch the movie, Imitation of Life, I am moved by it. I am moved by the fact that here's a black woman who just wanted her daughter to love her. That's all. Just wanted her daughter to love her. One of the letters that I have, <laughs> this is my favorite. This, this, this is my favorite. It, it's from um, Florida. And this guy, you know, when, when people write, write fan letters, and, and we hear about, you know, fan letters, we really don't think they exist. Mm -hmm. We really don't. But, can I, can I go ahead? I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. This particular guy just basically stated in, in his letter that he wrote to her, he says, please put your lip print <laughs> on, on this ball. Your lip print. <laughs> We're talking about fan mail. When you, when, when you get mail like this, what do you think? <laughs> No, say, what, what, what are you? What? I don't, I really, I really you don't know. You don't want your lipstick on again. No, 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 it's not that. I don't know what to do when I get that kind of mail. Wow. But, but you get all kinds of mail, you know. Have, have, have you got some, I'm not going to say strange, because, I mean, he's a fan. Yes, you know, he, yes, he is he, a um, fan. He's, he's, he has certainly stated that he admires the work that you've done in the imitation of mm -hmm, life. Mm -hmm. And what other type of, of, of um, odd... Um, requests do you receive? Well, I get, often I get just cards mm -hmm. and they just want my lip print and my signature. But I don't put my lip prints, lip prints on the cards. No, I don't do that. But I will send my signature. He, he, will, he will get a signature? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is from Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And this letter reads, it says, Dear Miss Moore, I felt the urge to write you after watching your performance in the film the imitation of life. Recently, I saw it for the first time 30 years ago at the age of six years. Crying with my mother on the couch, my mother has since then passed on. And watching the film has always reminded me of her. When you did Imitation of Life, did you realize the impact that it would have on America today? No, no, I had no idea. It's amazing to me that uh, I get letters from all over the world because I think maybe I showed you some letters that I got from Germany right. and mm -hmm. France and all that. I think maybe they're just uh, releasing the movie over there. <laughs> because really? of, of, of it, the it, impact of other letters. That yes, you see. yes. It wow. has to be that, you know. Wow. Why, why need more? I, I, I tell you, that reading, reading your, your fan mails, and I'm grateful that you allow something to talk about with this exclusive interview um this this program is, is is going to be designed where some of the fan mail is is, is read and, and most of all where those of you at home will get an opportunity of, of seeing the lady that we have watched over 30 years ago in, in a movie called imitation of life that when it is played even yet on today people are still writing her in the year of 1998 telling her of what an impact it has played in in, in their life this particular letter comes from north carolina mm -hmm. And it, it, it starts off by saying, may you always walk in sunshine. Oh, I like that. You like that? Oh, I like that very much. Why you like that? I don't know. It just gives me a, a godly feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it says here, it says, it says, dear Juanita Moore,